Hi guys, today we will understand the basics of how to interface a push switch with an LED. A push switch is basically a simple input interface where if you push the switch it will stay on and until you switch it off it goes off and how to interface it with your LED as a part of this lab. So today I will explain the programming code and the implementation with respect to this experiment. So the basic premise of this lab is that we have two switches and I have my Arduino which is connected to four LEDs which are commonly connected to ground. These are connected at pin numbers 2, 3, 4 and 5. So in case if my switch 1 is on, I would like to glow one of these LEDs. If switch 2 is on, then I'll glow the second LED. I'm using my third LED just as an example to show the anding function how do you and two inputs so there if both switch 1 and switch 2 are on then LED 3 will glow so we will see that in our program so it's a fairly simple experiment so let's see how the program for this experiment is done So the experiment is simple that we will write an Arduino code to demonstrate the functioning of an AND gate as well using the push switch as an input and LED as an output. So as I mentioned in my previous lectures that the first part of any Arduino program is the declaration. So I specify four variables each of them are of will be of the type output that we will see in the second section to these variables I am declaring them of the type constant so now the variable D out will have a constant value of 2 the constant dA now will have a constant value of 3, dB will have 4 and now you can understand. Similarly, I specify variables SA and SB again which is constant which will have values 7 and 8 and here if you see that these variables d out d a d b e x s a and s b are of the type integer so they can take integer values so now that I have declared all my variables in this program we need to specify whether these variables or these port numbers will be of the type input or output. So I specify using the function pin mode that D out which is pin number 2 is going to be output. Reason is because at pin number 2 I have an LED. Similarly D A which is of pin number 3 is of the type output because as I said 2, 3, 4 and 5 I have my LEDs connected to my Arduino board. Similarly DB. So 2, 3, 4 are of the type output. SA which is switch A is of the type input. So pin number 7 and 8 which are my switches are both of the type input. 
now in my Arduino board since I already have pin numbers 2, 3, 4 and 5 already connected to LEDs hence if I do not connect pin number 5 that is here so if I do not connect pin number 5 to ground or make it low then by default this LED will glow so even though I am not using this LED I still have to make sure that I am giving this LED some output in this case I don't want my LED to glow I don't want my LED to glow hence I will connect or give the input as low I hope that is clear so we've understood the basic declaration part where we have the Arduino we assigned pin 2, 3, 4, 5 pin 7 and 8 we connected to switches and at the output we connected LEDs which are already connected on the board so the pin number 5 from the input of the Arduino board I've already given it as 0 so since all the cathodes of these LEDs are connected to ground so this LED will not glow now through my program I have to control these LEDs okay so let's see how we control them it's fairly simple just as a reminder all those lines that start with the double slash this is a comment like this line and this line so my next is my void loop function basically everything inside this function until the end will keep executing in an infinite loop so first I declare another variable which is pin a state of the type boolean when it is of the type boolean that means it can take two values which is true or false okay so here the digital read function what it does is it will read a digital value from the variable SA which effectively if you remember SA was pin number 7 which is of the type input so effectively what I'm doing is I'm reading a digital input from pin number 7 and depending on whether it is true that is high or if it's false that is low that value will go into this variable pin a state so if pin number 7 that is the switch is on then it will give a value high and pin a state will become high similarly I do the same instruction for pin B state so if pin B again if you see SB was number 8 of the type input so if the switch on pin number 8 is off then I would get a low signal and I would put it here so effectively what I've done here is I have monitored or I have read the status of my inputs which are my switches now once I have read the state or basically if I have read my input then what I do is 
I will check if pin A is high so if the switch is on then on my output that is DA if you remember DA here is pin number 3 which is of the type output which was connected to an LED so I will digital write basically by digital write I am giving an output so I will give an output which is of the type high to DA which is actually pin number 3 okay similarly if pin A is high else suppose pin A is the else that is the other option means if pin A is low the else means that if it is not high that is if it is low then I will write a low value to DA which is my pin number 3 it's quite straightforward that said I repeat the same checking for pin B state which was pin number 8 as I read here if pin B state is high then I write the value 1 to DB if you remember DB is pin number 4 of the type output so what I've done here is if pin B state is high then I write a value high that is 1 to pin number 4 so hence the LED will glow this will be LED at pin number 4 here it was the LED at pin number 3 okay so the else part of this if statement is that if switch number 2 is off that is low then I write the low value at DB which is my pin number 4 alright so this was a simple switch to LED so now let's understand the ANDing function as part of my Arduino programming here what I do first is I create another variable which is called pinout state it is of the type boolean and what I do is I take the value of pin A state and pin B state and I use an ANDing operator this double AND means an AND operator and I give the value to pinout state which means that if pin A is high pin B is also high then pinout state will be high so with ANDing you know that if both the values are 1 then the output is 1 if any of them are 0 then the output is 0 so this operator here is the ANDing operation and what I do is depending on this value I use a digital write where I write the value of pin out state and I give it to my D out if you remember D out was my pin number 2 which was of the type output so effectively what I've done is I have mapped my LED at pin number 2 to the pinout state value which is the ANDing of pin A state and pin B state and pin A state if you remember came from switch 1 and pin B state came from switch 2 so effectively what we did was we connected switch 1 
to LED 3 we connected switch 2 to LED at pin number 4 and we ended the two inputs and we gave it to the LED at pin number 2. This is what we effectively did. Now you can go ahead and try this program in your Arduino programming interface. Just a few points that I would like to note here is that be careful about the be careful about the brackets these curly brackets so after every if statement you need to have an opening and a closing curly bracket after an else also you need an opening and a closing curly bracket and don't miss the semicolons after every statement so again if you see after an if statement you have the opening and closing curly bracket so please be careful about that and don't forget the final closing curly bracket this one don't forget that don't forget this one because this is the opening and the closing curly bracket of your void loop well if you miss any of them your compiler will give you an error so just be careful about it your teaching assistant will show you how to write this code in your Arduino interface so I shall see you at the explanation of the next lab. Thank you.